नमस्ते स्टूडेंट हियर वी हैव टू प्रॉब्लम रिलेटेड टू रियल नंबर्स हायर ऑर्डर थिंकिंग स्किल क्वेश्चन फाइंड द स्मॉलेस्ट पॉजिटिव रैशनल नंबर बाय विच वन बाय सेवन शुड बी मल्टीप्लाई सो दैट इट्स डिसमल एक्सपेंशन टर्मिनेट आफ्टर टू डिसमल प्लेस सो हियर दे आर आस्किंग हियर द फाइंड द स्मॉलेस्ट पॉजिटिव रैशनल नंबर सो अवर फर्स्ट टारगेट लेट द स्मॉलेस्ट पॉजिटिव रैशनल नंबर बी स्मॉलेस्ट पॉजिटिव रैशनल नंबर बी पी बाय क्यू वेर क्यू इज नॉट इक्व टू जीरो एंड पी क्यू आर वट नेचुरल नंबर नो नो वट दे सेंग दैट दैट नंबर शुड बी मल्टीप्लाई बाय दिस पी बाय क्यू शुड बी मल्टीप्लाई बाय वन बाय सेवन एंड दैट विल टर्मिनेट दैट मीन्स पी बाय सेवन क्यू इज टर्मिनेट After two decimal places, two decimal places, and this is possible only when this is this is possible only when p equals to seven and q equals to two square into five square. That means hundred. Why? Because if we we'll take here p as seven, so if we we'll put here seven, seven, seven cancel, and denominator we we'll get here hundred. Because they are asking about after two decimal place. If it is one decimal place, then our answer would be two into five, that is ten. If it is three decimal place, then it would be thousand, and it will increase like that. So here, therefore, p by q will be what? That is seven by hundred. This is our smallest positive rational number which when multiply by 1 by 7 and it terminate after two decimal place and you got answer is 7 by 100 now we'll proceed for the second question so here we have seven second question that is a and b are two positive integer remember here positive integer they are saying such that least prime factor of a is 3 and least prime Factor of b is five. Then find the least prime factor of a plus b. The answer is two. Okay, let's see why. So here, <clears throat> if we'll take letter that is a, a must be what least prime factor of three. So three must be common, and we'll take here m. And m is any integer. We don't know about this one. M belongs to your integer, some integer. Similarly, here b, b is what we are the least prime factor. That is five. Five would be the least prime factor that is n, where n is some integer. Okay, belongs to integer. Now, <clears throat> now if we we'll take a plus b because it is our target, if we we'll take a plus b, we'll get three m plus five n. And we need to find that least prime factor for this one is what? If we we'll look at here, this is your odd odd number. Why? Because this is the multiple of three. And if we we'll say there's a multiple of three, multiple of three, there's a six also. If I'll take three one just three, and if I'll take three two just six, then six is a prime number, uh, not so not prime number. Six is a multiple of two. But look at here, they are saying that a is what such that least prime factor of a is three. So if I'll take six, then least prime factor for this one is what two. So we cannot take this type of number like six. We can take here three, like after that nine. If we go for that uh, ten, you can see go four, twelve. We cannot take. There is a two least uh, common factor, so we cannot take that one twelve. We can proceed for fifteen. That type of number. Similarly for five, five, ten, fifteen, twenty. We cannot take this type of number because in this you can see two into five and the five is the least prime factor. Uh, sorry, two is the least prime factor. That's why we need to choose this type of number. So if we we'll choose here, so we can see that this type of number are odd number. You can see, and sum of two odd number, odd number. We know what we will going to write like that. We know sum of two odd number is even and least 
they are asking here find the least prime factor therefore the least prime factor of any even number is what 2 since least prime factor of any even number is 2 therefore 2 is the least prime factor of a plus b thank you